yes okay yeah mm -hmm. uh, now when we have focus group then uh, that is a bit different from brainstorming as i said in brainstorming you just know the problem you don't know the solution so you try to identify the solution mm -hmm. and in focus group now you know the solution or the product or what you exactly want to have but okay. now you want to detail it out you want to identify what all in that solution is or okay. what all maximum we can extract for that particular let's say point for example uh the, again we'll go back to the same example let's say the same overdraft facility in that situation mm -hmm. now you know that you have to make certain changes in let's say internet banking okay mm -hmm. yeah. now you have to allow that debit card to be shown over there you also allow have to allow it to show its let's say current usage and if the overdraft facilities has been started or let's mm -hmm. say it is also coming to its limit then probably you have to uh, send certain uh, emails not the emails yeah. but the Kind of notifications, yeah, on your internet banking. So once you log in, you will see the messages. Right. right. Okay. Something like that. So yeah. I've given you two ideas that you have to show message and you have to use it on internet banking. Yeah. Probably the focus group would also help you to uh, identify a few more things. So we'll be focusing only on the debit card when it is used via internet okay. banking or when we have to, let's say, make changes in the internet banking for this ultra facility uh, debit card or credit card. Okay. Oh, debit card. Sorry, not credit card. Yeah. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, you will you will focus on it. What uh, you exactly uh, have to do for this particular solution, mm -hmm. and you will try to identify the points, underlying points for it. Okay. Right. Yeah. If you go through the elements for it, you will see that, uh, or if you see any technique where the group is involved, they'll always have three parts in it. First, mm -hmm. you have to plan it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then you have to uh, also uh, go through it, or let's say process that plan. And the end would be uh, you. You have to summarize it, or you have to, let's say, close the discussion or close the complete exercise. And you have to right. give certain bullet points what you actually gather. So it will be there for every, every, mm. every uh, this specific group specific or let's say interaction specific techniques. Okay. Right. Right. Here also is the same thing. You will start with the focus group objective. So you have to first identify the objective. So basically, as I said, the internet banking wherein you have to expose this facility. Hmm. would be your objective so of right. course you will have the group with respect to the people who are uh, connected to the internet banking right right you won't right. be having someone who is let's say data warehouse person he doesn't have to okay. bother about this mm -hmm. okay. so you will create an objective and of course according to an objective you will identify the participants which is point three okay, okay. Right, right. herein you have to also know which people are relevant to this discussion so don't mm -hmm. take the relevant people like i don't know maybe uh, you don't have to have let's say some uh, subject matter expert who is belonging to let's say uh, reporting is not needed here okay. right, right right yeah then um, now the number which is given here probably it's it's good if you remember it mm -hmm. you can see right. uh, even if it is 6 to 12 it's a very big group yeah it's not a very small group so mm. those many people you have to have there then mm. you have to also see their scheduling conflicts yes their availability and their geography so you have to see all that whether yes. all of all of them are possible to join mm. and there is also possibly to that you have to arrange logistics like you have to arrange a meeting room you have to arrange a board maybe some sticky notes you have yeah. to arrange a telephone you have to arrange a video uh, mm. chatting facility something like that okay yes yes yeah then focus group plan is also there wherein it is also again mentioned the purpose location logistics participants budget timelines outcomes yeah. so have to be put in your plan okay mm -hmm. okay yeah discussion guide discussion guide uh, now if you see for focus group there will be also three people uh -huh. uh, three type of people who would be there first will be moderator he is the person who moderates the session and if you just keep in mind that focus group is the only technique wherein you will have moderator for okay. other uh, discussions discussion techniques there would be different roles okay for okay. the moderator moderator will always be here in focus group and uh, for moderator to be part of this group he won't be part of the discussion he'll be just moderating it he'll be helping the team to stay mm -hmm. focused on one particular discussion he'll be trying not to uh, he'll, he'll be will be making sure that people are not uh, getting away from the subject discussing something else which is not relevant so he will try to put the team back on track okay right right yeah yeah okay. then the and second also, also that everybody is got a chance to speak or put in the points and 
like you know it is uh, i think i read uh, this technical workshop it is also there also there is one business analyst who 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 performs a role of a moderator i think something like that okay okay yeah workshop is also there uh, there is a moderator i'm not sure once we get there we'll be see okay. here it is needed um yeah as i said four techniques are there for discussion first is uh, brainstorming then you have interviews then focus groups and workshops so all of them are where you have to deal with the people okay. right, right so we'll see what is there in workshops so once we go there mm-hmm. but right now yeah of course just remember moderator is needed here okay, okay. Yes. and uh, there will be also second type that is your team itself okay mm-hmm. people who are going to discuss and the third one would be the recorder Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, now here, uh, interestingly, business analyst can be a moderator because sometimes you don't need to part of you don't need to be part of the uh, discussions. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So again, it's up to you. Check if at all you need to give some inputs in the discussion. Then don't be a moderator. Okay. If nothing is needed. Then of course you can take the role. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Job of the recorder would be just to write down the notes and uh, record what what has been minutes, discussed. Minutes and all like you know. Something like that. Yeah. Not okay. exactly minutes. Uh, he'll be re- recording everything which is being talked there. So minutes is like you can say it is except or right. uh, it is it is a small uh, view of what has happened in the meeting, the bullet okay. points. Okay. But the recorder will record everything which has happened there. Okay. How the discussion has went. Okay. Mm-hmm. uh yeah now uh then uh, of course you have a discussion guide mm-hmm. now the discussion guide is something interesting uh, it is it is a kind of let's say uh, an informal document okay mm-hmm. which which help the team to get a lot of information with respect to what the discussion is all about okay okay mm-hmm. so yeah. what as a moderator you will do you will create let's say you or business analyst will create a certain specific questions mm-hmm. with respect to topic and so you will also mention what type of outcomes probably you are expecting okay so they they will be also focusing on it it's okay. also possible that you are having focus group for estimations the point we saw mm-hmm. you want to see mm-hmm. the, how many functionalities are there and you to we wanted to know what is the estimate okay so depending upon your objective the one we mentioned about discussion yeah. guide would be created Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Then you will conduct the focus group. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it is. It is again as mentioned. You will guide the group's discussion. You will. Uh, you will also uh, write down the specific issues, and you will check whether all, all the ensure objectives have met or not. You will ensure mm-hmm. that as per your discussion guide. Okay. Mm-hmm. And after uh, the focus group has been uh, has has been conducted, uh, you will also. try to <coughs> write down all the all the all the necessary information from the recorders recording mm-hmm. okay and uh, what you will do is maybe you can highlight some bulleted points and all and okay. uh, you can give the summary there itself in the mm-hmm. focus group or you can do a follow up you okay. can send those information later on and you will try to get them let's say approved from all the people who were part of this discussion so right this is what is being discussed okay and agreed Okay, right. Yeah. Clear? Yeah. Yeah. I had uh, one, two questions on here actually. Yeah. In a discussion guide, is it that it is pre-circulated prior to the meeting? Yes. Or? Yes. 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 You have to pre-circulate it prior to the meeting. Yes. Okay. And the second, the focus group, uh, like it can be done across uh, for different stages. Like you know, suppose planning. Planning is a stage. Hmm. Uh, at that time, also we can have this kind of meet. Okay. Uh, with all the uh, key stakeholders to plan how the product will be that is also in so, in a way sort of detail, detailing out the product right or, there, is, there is no restriction or, yeah. or it is only meant for say implementation stage suppose okay like yeah. everything is planned and uh, the, the product the need is completely defined and uh, clear okay or they, uh, then how the execution will happen that only for that focus group is required so i just want to know can the focus group be done at different stages or it is me- meant specifically for the implementation stage 
Okay, okay. Uh, as far as uh, I can tell you, all the techniques, there is nowhere mentioning that you can use the technique only in a particular circumstances. Okay. It's the business analyst trying to use it. And for focus group, I'm 100% sure. If you have a problem mm-hmm. which needs a specific attention and detailing, then of course, you are the one who is to decide whether to use focus group or any other technique. So it doesn't matter which stage the project is. Okay. 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 Yeah. Right. Right. Understood.